Hey, what's up? John from Videofort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the Roto Brush. It's going to be a little sloppy and fast, but that's how we like it. Um, uh, so here's the uh, Roto Brushed footage. I uh, Rotoed out this guy here and then I placed in uh, another piece of footage on the background. Real simple, nothing crazy, and uh, like I said, I did a you know, patchy job on the roto brush. You guys can take more time with it if you please. I'm just uh, showing it to you real quick. This one's for people who have not used roto brush before and are curious about what it has to offer. So let's get started. We're gonna grab our smoker footage here. We love working with this guy. He uh. It always lights it up. Okay, so we're going to drag this down. Whoa. Highlighting everything here. We're going to drag this down into a new comp. That's going to give us a new comp with the same settings as our footage. Awesome. From there, I'm going to go ahead and pull up our workspace just a hair and uh, bring that out. Sweet. So from there, we're going to trim our workspace area. So I'm going to get it to where he's just past this light here. So right about there's good for me. Then I'm going to hit the B key on my keyboard, and that's going to bring my workspace over. I'm going to scrub through to the end, and yeah, that's fine right there. That's cool. So then I will right click here and do trim comp to work area. And that'll trim down my comp so it's a little shorter. Isn't that great? So let's go ahead and play this back. So what we're gonna do is we're going to roto out this guy using the roto brush. Let's go ahead and grab it. You see up here next to our puppet pin tool, looks like a little pin, and next to the eraser, there's a guy with a paintbrush. And when you highlight over it, it says roto brush tool. So we'll go ahead and select that, and we will go all the way to the beginning, and go ahead and double click on your layer. That's going to bring you into your layer window. You've got a timeline down here that we're going to be checking out a little bit and using to uh, roto out this guy. So let's go ahead and make our first stroke. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. If you hold down the command key, and then you can just kind of drag upward, that can change the size of your brush. So I'm going to make it you know, about that big. And I'm just going to draw a line straight down his body. Boom. And that gives us kind of an awkward uh, roto of him. So what we can do from here is we can highlight some more of him. And get the rest of his face there and get the rest of his hat up here. And sweet, that'll start to adjust it. We also missed some of his hats. So let's go ahead and make the paintbrush a little smaller and get his hat in there. How great. So we also have some areas that are overlapping and uh, we need to cut out. So if we hold down the option key, that'll make our roto brush red and it'll give us a minus symbol and we can just paint out those areas. You see it tightens up nicely there. You can go ahead and grab here and get that. And let's get that spot too. Now, the important thing to remember with the Roto Brush tool is that it will not remember. Uh, well, let, let's just move forward one frame. So we'll go forward a frame. And we're good. This looks pretty good, so we can keep moving forward. I'm going to fix that just a little bit. Now, let's say that. You know, we go back to this frame and we need to make changes on this. So we make our changes and then we go forward a frame. If there are any changes that we made here, those will need to be redone. So you, know, you kind of have to go frame by frame with the roto brush and just kind of make sure it's following the path it's supposed to be. It's slightly annoying, but uh, you can usually roto a bit faster and it's a little more accurate. It looks like we're losing a little bit of his eye there, so we'll just get that. And that's fine. Like I said, we're just doing it quick today. If you want to be a little more precise on your rotoing, that is fine. You can be as precise as you want to be. 
So and I'm just kind of going through frame by frame and monitoring the mask. It looks like we're losing his arm there a little bit. So I'm going to go back and re-highlight that. So we're good. Now all of the previous frames are still good. It's just this following frame that will have to get redone. So notice it caught his arm there. So that's good. And we'll just keep clicking through. Areas that we could probably go in and fix are there and there if you want to clean stuff up. But like I said, I'm just doing this fast today. So I'm going to keep clicking through, and once I get to the end, I will show you what I've got. All right, so I've got our guy all rotoed out. Looks pretty amazing. Uh, like I said, I uh, did not really take too much time on you know, making him perfect, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and check out some of our controls over here. I already started playing with them a bit. Um, now, smooth is going to smooth out the edges. I'll just set these all back to zero so you can kind of see what it looks like without them. Oops. Now, you notice how it's a pretty jaggedy roto which is why we've got our tools over here to help make it better. Now Smooth is going to smooth out some of those edges. Feather is going to feather the mask, so you can crank that up uh, you know, as high as you want. And that'll you know, start smoothing out those edges. Same thing with Smooth, that's why it's called Smooth. Uh, choke is going to either increase or decrease the size of the roto mask. And so I had it increased all the way to 100 to kind of show a little more light that's on his body. Uh, you can you know, decrease that more or less depending on you know, what you want to do. Uh, like I said, this was just a fast, quick roto work. I wasn't going for 100%. Uh, Sorry. And uh, another cool thing to know is the uh, invert foreground background. If you click on that, and take our guy out of the scene, and so you could put something in here instead, or it can kind of just look like a silhouette guy smoking a cigarette, which is equally entertaining. Now, another thing that you can do is drop in another piece of footage. So I've got a city scene. And I can just drag that right down into here. And you know, right now we've got that inverted thing going on, so if I go back to our effect controls and take that off, it'll bring him into the foreground. Now, what I did with the city was I put on a color correction effect on there. I did a hue and saturation. I also colorized it. And I just kind of, you know, shifted this over until he, it was a little bit of the same golden type color that's on his skin. That's what I'm looking for. We can also boost the saturation up to 100 so I can kind of see. And I'm basing it off of this value there. Bring it back. It's kind of more of an orangey. It's about there. That looks pretty decent. And so now it looks like he's kind of actually in a place that would be you know, lit similar to his skin. Uh, just trying to make it look more real, but obviously he's not actually there smoking a cigarette like we all wish he was. But, uh, you know, can't, can't always live the dream. Now, if you want to get real eccentric, you can go up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and then I just kind of duplicated this hue and saturation effect. So I copied it and then pasted it on that adjustment layer. And that kind of doubles down on it. But uh, I don't really want that colorize on there too much. So another thing you can do is do a curves adjustment. So if you go to color correction curves, you kind of play with those a little bit. And you know, make the scene darker or brighter or whatever <laughs> yeah that's just weird but yeah so now you guys know how to use the roto brush use it better than i did today i was uh disobedient and you know, i got it an okay rotoing from it and if we ram preview that or just play it through it's an okay 
it's not amazing, but you know, it does the job. Yeah, so very powerful tool, very quick tool. It'll save you some time on tedious rotos because it uh, does a lot of the work for you and tries to figure out the movement and the shot of what you're rotoing. Very, very handy. So you guys, uh, you guys are going to be all right. Trust me. All right, so that wraps up the Roto Brush tutorial. Make sure to head over to videofort.com to pick up some great footage like this so you can Roto out a guy smoking and put him in the city. I know that's what I plan to do later today. And uh, click subscribe over to the right. We love it when you do that. We like to keep you all learned up on the tutorials that we're putting out and you know every once in a while we like to post a cool little promo video with our awesome stock footage so yeah, entertainment that uh, completes it though so make sure to have a great day or not the choice is yours later guys <laughs>